The second time that I traveled to Cuba, I stayed with my family in their home rather than a hotel. Yeah, that trip to, to Cuba was very, very eye-opening um, of how little we understand about how these systems actually work. One is to have the neighbors come through the window and say, do you have your ration book? Because I'm about to go get eggs. And so they share the load of waiting in line um, for some of the basic uh, supplies. The cost of toilet paper um, was an average of $1 a roll when people are making $25 a month. So then what do you buy? Do you buy that or not? The homes that are provided by the government are not in great condition unless, of course, you have relationships with the government. The shower that they had didn't work, so you had to bathe yourself through a bucket um, on a regular basis. When we took a cab home and the, and the cab driver realized that we were, uh, my aunt lived near a police station, he said, do not pay me, I'm not a regulated cab but I need to make a living, so you can just put the money in, in the back pocket of the seat, and um, I'll, I'll trust you to have paid me fairly. But people who had side businesses and clandestine activities that they were doing, because it was the only way they could make ends meet. At $25 a month, it's not sustainable. Um, so while there was no real private sector, people were trying to figure out how to build their own private sector in, in a way that was illegal with the, according to the government. But what do you do? when the government can't sustain you and you need to make a way. When I have friends who go visit Cuba, they'll come back and say, it's fabulous, what a wonderful trip I had, and everything looks terrific, and the food was exquisite. They don't understand that. That, ho that casino, Cubans can't go in. That hotel, Cubans can't go to the second floor of that hotel. They can't book a room in there. They're not allowed. Those stores that you can shop in are out of financial reach for most Cubans. They just have no idea idea um, of what it really actually looks like underneath. They stay at the surface level and it all seems really wonderful, but it's a fiction. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciated the opportunity to share my story, to keep episodes like this alive, like Americanos. I hope you'll make a tax-deductible contribution to PragerU.